What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again and welcome back to another Space Engineers Experiment. So I am here on the dark side of the moon now, roughly where I need to be on the exact opposite side of the planet here. I had to fit some extra spotlights here because it is very dark. Like, hang on here, let's see. Boop. Like, good golly miss, that's pitch black. But, so what I did was I put a GPS beacon, you can see him kind of overlapping there, uh, at the entrance to the tunnel so that I could basically get my straight shot to the core. So I'm going to try to drill down to the center from the opposite end of the planet and see if I encounter the same problems that I did before or if I somehow can actually make it back to my connecting tunnel. Uh, most of this probably will be completely cut out because it's probably going to be more of the same. But I think once we get closer is when we should get all the interesting uh, footage. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I might let the uh, recording run, but I think for the most part I probably won't need to because it's just going to be me staring at the uh, the old dice in here. See if I can get the okay, hang on, hang on, camera. Okay. I'm just going to do that because that seems to be about center. And we'll get started here. That light's on. Alright, I have closed within 1,000 meters of the target here. The core has been marked. And on the way down here, I had an idea that if I get to this point and I can't connect the tunnels, I'm going to fly back up and either load up on rocket launchers or this might be a good time to start dabbling in warheads. So if I can't get through the sensitive way, I'm just gonna brute force and use explosives to, to basically blow the last bit out. So hopefully, I'm not sure if it'll come to that, but I think I might actually be okay. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my previous video, but my method is essentially to just set my upward thrust override to a roughly just a, just enough to keep me from falling and then I just kinda use my downward thrust to maintain a steady speed so I can at least get fairly close. Um, I would use the uh, toolbar shortcuts but I can't get precise enough of a, a dial on that. I need to be able to go down to the tenths for to to for uh, you know kilo newtons to be able to do that, and I just can't get that kind of precision. And I one thing I also would like is if ins instead of using that slider, if they had a way to just manually click by in increments of one tenth because sometimes it can be hard to slide that slider perfectly. Yep, too much there. Huh? I found I can get 1.1 is a pretty stable speed, but anything more than that, like 1.2 is starting to push it, I'm gonna bump into something. So I'm, I'm guessing it's probably like 1.15, 1.18, something that's uh, some decimal point that's between 1.1 1 .1 and 1 1.2 as an average speed as your max for being able to mine without bumping into stuff. I miss the good old days when you could like mine at 5 meters a second or something ridiculous. Holy crap, I can actually see stuff. I just reached the uh, range for my antenna. That is awesome. The, a proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. And we are on our last tentative, barely traceable bit of gravity. One one hundredth of a G. How far down are we? Just to almost 9,000 meters. I'm thinking I may have to use explosives. That's what's going to probably end up going coming to. 
So I don't think I'm actually going to be able to tunnel the whole way there. See, I'm sitting at five, roughly 500 meters. Maybe. No, I think there's gonna be like a there's gonna be like a 30 meter gap between the two. So it's just gonna it's probably gonna be just barely unable to reach it. I'm kind of sad. That makes me like I don't, that makes me kind of sad that I've done all this work and I'm not gonna be able to reach it. But, the, but at the same time, it's kind of a, uh, it's it's good to learn that it's not it's probably not entirely possible. However, I'm still excited to blow stuff up. I'm gonna have to do some testing too to see what kind of what's the most effective way if I'm going to use warheads or rockets because I never use warheads. I don't know what kind of uh, how they work or what kind of damage, what kind of radius explosive radius they have. So we'll find out soon enough. Okay, I just closed within 200 meters and I'm starting to like get really nervous. Because we're getting into, let's see it real quick. We're getting into very, very close territory here where the game was not is not going to like it the closer I get. So I'm definitely into zero G territory at this point. Actually, I can turn that off completely. Just barely. It's, it's like 94 and some change that it started to really not like it. I wish I could get the altimeter down here when I'm like this because that'd make it a lot easier. I mean, to track how close I am to when the game's going to bite it. Saved. Who knows? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'll get close enough and actually break through. Okay. Getting about seventy meters out. From the uh, crash point. All right, we are about to cross into 9400 from the surface, and it's jumping back and forth. Any four hundred. Take okay, so I'm only eighty meters away, and I have to adjust my drill bit here. Okay, Let me get a quick save in here. Seventy meters is 
very, very close. If there was, a, if someone was joined from the other side, I bet I could actually hear the uh, drill, possibly. I am also noticing that I am not that my other te other um, drill hole isn't dead center to the planet. So obviously you can't drill to the dead center, or at least not without it crashing. But I guess you could probably, once I at least connect the two, you could probably go back and if the explosives end up working, you could probably use those to actually do a connecting. Oh. Before. Okay, we are saving again. Just gonna stop for a second here. All right, f 50 meters. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Uh. I don't know the point in which the game is just gonna blow away. Making me really nervous. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> not for any particular reason. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna. You know, it's not like it's gonna thrash my computer or anything. It's just. Yep, there it goes. Huh. So 30 meters out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back. Prep, and hopefully I can actually get this done. There's the warning. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. I am here, and I am at the core, roughly. And I think what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and place a charge. I'm trying to get as close to this as I can. So the tunnel's right there. I don't know how these things work. I've never used them before, so this is going to be interesting here. Where's the uh, panel? So, give myself plenty of time to get the hell away from this thing. 10, do 30 seconds. Start. Alright, charge is armed. Clear. Breach, breach, breach. All right, it's ticking, it's getting hot. Holy crap. That thing packs a wallop. Good golly, Miss Molly. Okay. That might actually be a viable method. So let's see. Tunnel exits this way. So I'm going to do it again here. I'm not entirely sure where my... Uh, I forgot... Of course I forgot to place the... Uh, a... Um, marker at the bottom of the uh, corresponding tunnel. I think I, ha I should have everything I need to build this. Okay. I think 10 seconds should be plenty this time around. Alright. Um, I'm going to set it for 15 just to be safe. Alright. Clear! Alright. Breach, breach, breach! Let me back up a little bit more here. Ha! I did it! I did it! Holy crap, that actually worked! Oh my god, that is so amazing! 
And look at that, I was only maybe a couple degrees off. And now I have this massive, awesome uh, crater in the middle. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was the most... In here I thought I'd have to use these rocket launchers in case uh, something went wrong. Okay, so let's see here. I can now drive clear through the planet. Not, I guess drive really, but fly clear through the planet. Oh, this is glorious! Oh, I am very pleased with myself right now. Holy crap. I can't believe I actually did that. That is amazing. So, there you go. You can just as easily drill from both ends, get to within 30 meters, and then just use uh, nuclear charges, warheads, to do the remaining work for so hang on here I wonder how so how much damage would these have done if I if I had to use them let's see here uh, I'm just gonna probably not much so it's probably a good thing that I use the uh... yeah it's probably much better that I use the is that rock net is that debris now I don't have to pick up dang it yeah Woo! Oh, that was so amazing. And what a fitting use for the uh, first, my first use of warheads. Oh, man, that is so awesome. So hang on a second here. What happens if... I'm just going to save real quick. So what happens... Will this crash the game if I do this? Let's find out. Nope. Huh. Interesting. So, what's my altimeter read? 94. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And of course, I'm not in the exact core. I think that's actually down this way. Let's see here. It'll be a spot, I'm guessing, where basically any way I turn, the gravity will be. Constant. Oh, nope. Down this way here. Nope, now it's down this way. So I think that's going to do it for this experiment, now that I found out how to do this. Oh. So this? Is this this dead center? I would have thought that it would just be a place where the gravity wouldn't even show up on the on the uh, our little G-meter. Alright, that's going to be it. I'm done. I'm done messing around for now. This took way too long to get done. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, until, the, until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.